Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to a quick little video on Forgotten Weapons. I just wanted to do sort of a, a follow-up annotation to the earlier video uh, I did actually quite a while ago on the Mac 1950, the French Cold War service pistol. This is the version that everyone is quite familiar with. Parkerized, black plastic grips, and it's got a safety very much like the, uh, the M1 pattern of uh, 1935S safeties. However, there were a couple early versions that are worth pointing out. So this is the very first pattern of the pistol, and it is in fact this one, uh, serial number 26, and this is still marked type SE Moss 1948. So this is technically one of the pre-production, like the trials prototypes of the gun, but it has the first version of the grips that were presented, uh, or the grips that were used, which is big wide solid checkered wood grips. We've got a lanyard uh, ring that is protruding out of the base of the grip, where it would eventually later uh, become a hollow with a pin. And then, getting into really the super nerdy territory, we have a slightly different magazine design. So the follower is milled instead of being stamped. The magazines uh, were originally blued, although this one has lost most of its blue. The basic design of the magazine stayed the same, just the finish and the construction of the base plate changed. In addition, the early pattern here had a safety that is uh, fully within the slide here. And again, this is just like the very early uh, production run of the 1935S pistols. So here's our first pattern. From there we go to the actual model 1950, right there, model 1950. This is serial number F20 of the actual production run of Mac 50 pistols. Uh, interestingly, this one still has a slide made by Moss, but we now have, uh, the grips have changed a bit, we have the final design version of the, the butt of the gun and the lanyard ring. The safety is still this fully internal safety, so it goes, this is uh, safe, and, or that is, sorry, that is safe, and this is fire. And that safety simply blocks the hammer from hitting the firing pin. So when the safety is engaged, that block drops down, the the hammer will still drop, but it hits that instead of hitting the firing pin, and so it won't fire. Anyway, uh, the grips have changed shape from rather squarish to nicely curved, and wood. And then from there we will see the change to the much more recognizable pattern, where instead of being blued the gun is now parkerized, the grips are the same pattern with the same grasping serrations, but uh, they are now black plastic. And the safety has been improved, or has been changed, just like the 35S. So now that's the safe position, and that's the fire position. This really does make more sense. You've got the safety sticking out, and so you can grab it, flip the safety off like that from a firing grip, and be ready to fire. It does also have a magazine safety in it. There we go. Where on this earlier version, that's the safe position, so in theory you can sort of do that from a firing grip, but not really. So there you go, just a, uh, a quick little synopsis here from SE Moss Model 48 to official Mac 1950 uh, pattern to uh, the standard commonly recognized production version. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.